all computers are managed by an operating system or OS. This is a complex type of software that controls every application running on a computer. If you didn't have an OS installed, you wouldn't be able to run any of the programs on your computer. The most common operating system is Microsoft Windows, which powers about 90% of computers worldwide. In its previous versions, Windows couldn't be installed without a product key. This is a unique combination of letters and numbers that comes with the software when it's purchased legally. A product key also enables a program to be fully utilized by the user. Without it, the software will not be installed properly or will run as a demo, with numerous limitations compared to a full version. Fortunately, in the latest edition of the Microsoft operating system called Windows 10, the installation has been made available to anyone, even without a product key. Microsoft will not ask you to pay a single cent, plus you can purchase a digital license in the future. To get Windows 10, you must first check if your personal computer or PC meets the following system requirements. Make sure that you are running either Windows 7 or 8.1. You can check this by pressing the Windows logo key and letter R simultaneously. This opens the Run dialog box. In the text field, type msinfo32, then press Enter. You will see the system information on your screen. The OS name should indicate Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. You can also review other specs in the same panel. The processor is a part that defines the speed of your computer. It should be about 1 GHz or faster. The RAM, on the other hand, refers to the installed physical memory of your PC. It should be at least 2 GB for the operating system to run efficiently. You need to check your free hard disk space as well. You can do this by clicking the start button located at the lower left portion of the screen. When the menu appears, click on computer. A new window will show up, displaying the different hard drives and storage devices. Look for the one that is labeled local disk, drive C, or C with a colon. Right click on it and choose properties. You will see a dialog box presenting a pie graph. This illustrates the amount of space you have. The free space should be at least 20 GB to ensure proper installation of the OS. Other things to consider before getting Windows 10 are the graphics card and native resolution. To check your graphics card, press the Windows logo key and letter R at the same time. On the text field, input dxdiag then hit the enter key. The direct diagnostic tool will appear. Choose display from the selection at the top of the window. At the right portion of this panel, you will see the details for the graphics driver. The model should indicate WDDM 1.0 or higher. To see your native resolution, click the start button and go to control panel. Once a new window appears, select appearance and personalization. At the lower left part of this panel, click on display. Then at the left side of the dialog box, choose adjust resolution. In the screen resolution settings, look for resolution. You will see a drop-down menu beside it. The size or number marked with recommended is your native screen resolution. It should be at least 800 by 600 or higher. Once your PC meets all these minimum specifications, you can now obtain the Windows 10 installation media. This is directly available from Microsoft.com. You must go to the software download page then select download tool now. Click this button to get the media creation tool file. Once the download is complete, run it as administrator. The installation will now begin. In the course of installing Windows 10, you will be asked to enter a product key. If you do not have any, just click the do this later link at the bottom of the window. Microsoft will still allow you to proceed with the installation normally. You will have the option to choose the things you want to keep in the process. Select keep personal files and apps, or keep personal files only, or choose to keep nothing. Remember to save and close any open programs and files. It might take some time to install Windows 10, and your computer will restart several times. Make sure you don't turn off your PC. Once the setup is complete, you will now be able to enjoy using your new operating system. Contrary to the old versions of the OS, Microsoft does not give you any major restrictions for installing Windows 10 without a key. 
It will only prohibit you to personalize your computer. That means you will not be able to change the desktop background, choose an accent color, select an image for screen lock, or pick out a theme. You will also be unable to customize the start menu and the task bar. All of the options are great and unavailable. Another downside is that Windows will remind you once in a while to upgrade to the licensed version. You will find a watermark in the lower right corner of the screen saying activate Windows. Go to settings to activate Windows. There will also be a prompt at the bottom of settings stating Windows isn't activated. Activate Windows now, with the exception of these limitations, your OS will continue to function normally for as long as you keep it.